Less humid on Thursday with sunshine. Good Wednesday night, East Tennessee. David Aldrich, Captain Accurate here from the Captain Accurate Weather Command Center, where you can see the last of the showers still hanging tough along the Smokies. And I suspect that the last of the heavier rains in Gatlinburg will continue to migrate further south and fall apart. As you can see, this is around, say, 745. But how do you track it? It's pretty easy. How do you track it? You just go to the App Store, Google Play, you download the Captain Accurate Weather app with Pete Michaels traffic. You get 24 hour, 24 hour local traffic reports. Plus, of course, the weather is always changing in East Tennessee. We have come to know that if you've been here at any length of time. More showers and storms tonight moving across Georgia and South Carolina, North Carolina, even some thunderstorms in Virginia, but they're not headed here. Most of it's all moving southward, and you will notice more thunderstorms in Mississippi, Alabama, and across much of Texas, Louisiana, and Florida. Our high temperature today came in at 84 degrees. I was forecasting 83. 84, 83. Well, that's only one degree, but uh, again, 85 the normal. Record high 102. Record high was set back in 1925. They did hit 83 in Maryville. They hit 85 in Oak Ridge. 80 in Newport. It was 77 today in Oneida. 78 in places like, uh, say, Crossville. But 90 in Memphis. A hot day there. 87 Chattanooga. 81 in the Tri Cities. It's interesting to note when we talk about humidity, the gold standard. It's dew point, dew point temperature, the temperature at which water vapor condenses. It was 69 at 3 o'clock today. Now, as of 7 o'clock, it was 62. So it's dropped 7 degrees. It's 7 degrees less humid now in Knoxville as compared to 3 o'clock today. And all that green ooze is trying to ooze on out of here. Ooh, yeah, take it out of here. All that green ooze moves away, turns pleasant. If not tonight, certainly tomorrow morning when temperatures have bottomed out near 60. Some of you will be in the 50s tomorrow morning. But it's still pleasant on Thursday. By Friday, still pleasant. I mean, all the pleasantries were probably getting spoiled. But that's okay because it will turn humid again with more green ooze coming into, if not Friday night, certainly as we head into Saturday. Saturday looks like this. Oh, yeah, it's back. It's sticky across the Volunteer State Saturday and into Sunday, so it's not necessarily going to stay that way. Are you ready for some apple picking? Are you ready for some changes in the season? How about a corn maze? Do you like to get lost in the corn maze? Or do you like to know, well, where's, let me see the map. Let me see, I don't want to get lost. I just, I just want to put my toe in and then I won't go too far in. Hey, are you ready for some pumpkin picking? I, I'm, I'm leading to a point here. Hay rides, corn mazes, pumpkins. You know, it's almost time for that. It's autumn, certainly astronomically as we head toward the latter part of September. But are you ready for this? I'm going to talk about fall color like you have never heard before tomorrow morning on Facebook. So hopefully you'll have a chance to watch it. I'll be live from 640 to 7 a.m., but you may want to watch it maybe an hour later, maybe a couple of hours later, whenever you want to watch it. But I'll have all the details on fall color. Maybe if you're new to town, you don't want to miss that tomorrow. Low humidity Thursday, as your headlines reveal, spotty storms develop Friday, and then it turns soggy on Saturday, but mainly in the morning. Keep in mind, the Smoky Mountain Air Show has their aerial performances between noon and 415. Between noon and 415, which means I believe they'll get much of that in. We'll get most of the rain out of here. We just need to get it out of the area that uh, covers the McGee-Tyson Airport because that's where they're going to be uh, headquartered, right? That's where they're based out of. So a soggy Saturday may pick up a half inch to an inch of rain. Tennessee's taking on Pittsburgh. Uh, Pitt up in uh, the Panthers. They're taking on Pitt on, uh, in Pennsylvania. This Saturday, 3.30, ABC, hashtag Go Big Orange. Both teams are 1-0. I'm expecting low 80s still for kickoff at halftime. Fourth quarter, mid-70s, winds 5-10. to 10. Out of the southeast east, uh, maybe a 20% chance of rain late toward the end of the fourth quarter, or perhaps more like the drive home. It should come very late, so I do think 90% uh, of that game, 95% of that game will be dry. Uh, take a look at the future cast. Let's take a look. Not much is going to happen tomorrow, although uh, there may be some spots of rain near Asheville, North Carolina. There it is. Maybe east of Bryson City. It had some drizzle in the Smokies. I don't think it'll get very far. And if it makes it to the Smokies, it's even spotty uh, for some drizzle. But that's 5 o'clock, uh, say, Thursday. Heading into Friday, maybe some spots of rain like this. There you go. A little bit of green here or there. Not a whole lot. Then we head into Saturday. It all comes up from the south. Ooh, yeah. I see what you're saying. And some of it may be locally heavy. You see some yellow areas south of Huntsville. Well, that could easily be in Knoxville. Based on some of the data I'm seeing, we could get some downpours Saturday morning, half inch to an inch, but then it's going to work its way up toward Kentucky. Oh, yeah, maybe we'll salvage much of the day in the afternoon anyway on Saturday. And keep in mind, the Tennessee Valley Fair starts on Friday. Tonight, 60 to low, mostly clear. Patches of fog late. We slide into tonight. We're down to 56 in Oneida. Ooh, 
Did you say 56? Ooh, ooh, that's a that's a fun place to be. If you're gonna wake up to the mid 50s, like Middlesbrough, Wartburg, upper 50s, Jamestown, Crossville, you can celebrate because that's a really nice place to be. That's autumnal. That seems like because the normal low for Knoxville anyway is 64. So we're gonna be running about four degrees below average here. Might even be a tad cooler relative to norms further north across southeast Kentucky. But Thursday, 84, mostly sunny, low humidity. And northeast winds 5 to 10. Thursday's high 79 Oneida, Jamestown, and Crossville. 83 is, is expected in Talbot, Bean Station, and Morristown. 84 Del Rio, Newport. 85 Kingston, Harriman, Rockwood. 84 for Teleco Plains, Athens, and Madisonville expected tomorrow. Here's your Captain Accurate Weather Authority forecast for Knoxville and East Tennessee. Some spotty storms on Friday. Upper 70s on Saturday. I added a little bit of a sun in there because I don't think it's going to be completely covered with clouds until maybe the afternoon when we see some of that sun. But soggy at times, mainly morning. Showers and storms on Sunday, 81. And then Monday, uh, we may be hard pressed to find the sunshine amidst all the clouds, but another 80% chance that we're soggy at times on Monday, still in the 70s on Tuesday. So keep in mind, normal high is about 85. So we're going to be cooler than average for the uh, uh, next six to seven days for the most part. But I think we'll be able to manage that for sure. By the way, if you haven't tracked it yet, you can or download it yet. The Captain Accurate Weather app with Pete Michaels traffic. Keep you and your family safe. Just search Captain Accurate at the App Store and Google Play. Well, again, don't forget about the fall color, fall foliage. I'll have a report tomorrow morning on Facebook. Share it with all the friends if you wish, uh, especially for uh, the, the, new, the new folks. People who've come to East Tennessee may not have all that information at their fingertips. We can share that. Uh, together as a group. Anyway, my name is David Aldridge. Some people call me Captain Accurate. It's not easy being accurate, so weather doesn't surprise you. We'll see you here next time. Take care.